So today is actually a work day for me. I'm taking a little bit of a lunch break and uh, exploring the beautiful nature out here on this beautiful, cold, snowy day. <laughs> nice view. <laughs> Looks like there's some horse stables back there. This is the Gunpowder State Park Sweet Air area out here in uh, Maryland. And I'm staying pretty close to home today because the weather is doing its thing right now. It's winter thing and I don't want to get caught up in that. I haven't car camped since my Georgia trip and I'm missing it so <laughs> I just figured I'd spend the day today at least out here in nature, enjoying its beauty. And the nice thing about this area is I do get a Wi-Fi signal <laughs> and it also has a porta potty right over there. I don't know if y'all can see that. There we go. And it is open and it actually has hand sanitizer. <laughs> so my lunch break is almost over. So I'm going to head back to the car so I can show you all what it looks like uh, when I have my mobile office set up in place. This is what it looks like from the back. As you can see, I'm still using my two person bench there. And if I want to stand and work, all I do is just flip this around. It would help if I unplug it. All I do is just flip this around and boom. And let me show you the view from the inside. I have my Blue Eddy up here on the shelf so I can go ahead and charge my devices if need be. And then I have, of course, my laptop. I have my iPad here. And then I just have my uh, headset here to join meetings. If I need to cook something, uh, like cook some lunch, which uh, I'm not really hungry, so I'm not going to cook anything right now, I don't think. But uh, if I needed to, I could just set that up right here and maybe move my iPad and my laptop over to the right and move my Blue Eddy here in the center. But yeah, that's what I'm doing today because... Um, I haven't been car camping since my Georgia trip, which was almost two weeks ago, and I'm really missing it. Uh, and right now with the weather being crazy, kind of all over the country, I don't know, I don't want to risk any, you know, dangers or whatever, or getting stranded anywhere like I did two years ago. <laughs> I got up early, headed out here. Um, this is probably about an hour away from my home, so... And this is where I'm spending my work day. Like I said, right now, I'm just taking a little lunch break so I can show you all how I set up my mobile office <laughs> when I need to work, but I also need to kind of get out of the house because I do work from home. So don't get me wrong. I am extremely grateful that I do have that opportunity where I can work from home. And it allows me to do things like this. When you do work from home, and I've been working from home since I think 2018, before COVID, there are times where it's like, okay, I'm here all day long during the week. You know, you're inside the house all week long and that's all you kind of get to see the whole week. And so it gets, sometimes every once in a while, it gets to the point where it's like, okay, I need to get out of the house and um, change my atmosphere up a little bit, especially if, you know, the task that I'm doing requires some like creativity or whatever. Sitting in the same area or in your house all day long, all week long, it's just not great for creativity sometimes. So today I just, uh, I just decided I needed to work from nature. <laughs> Check out this view. How can you go wrong? Beautiful view. And the best part is, you know, if I don't want to look at this view anymore, I can flip my vehicle around and look at the other side. It's my front view. 
that's what I'm doing today and I figured I would take you all along on the journey with me. I have my car warming up right now because I've been here since about 8.30 and it is, let's see, it says it's 32 degrees where I am right now. So it got a little chilly, but Sherpa blanket right here. It's so warm and toasty. Yeah, so that's one way that I can work from the car. The other way is, you know, if I need back support. So after a while, this can get a little intense because you don't have any back support. Um, so sometimes I'll like, you know, I'll stretch out and I'll bring my laptop or my iPad over here towards me. Um, and I put a pillow right behind me. So, ooh, ooh, got this pillow. And I'll put it right behind me. And then if I unplug this, I can, you know, work like that. But then sometimes I just might need a lot more back support. To accommodate that, uh, right here behind my driver's side seat, I do have this little desk type of situation right here where I can put my iPad or my laptop right on here, flip the seat back up, um, and then I can actually sit there and get some work done. So I'm gonna configure that real quick and show you how that's done. So I just roll this back and get the lever over here. There we go. Boom. <laughs> and then I just let this down and boom, I have my little desk. Let me bring y'all closer. There we go. I have my little desk here where I can prop up my iPad or my laptop and work right from there if I do need that firmer back support. So that is how I work from my car on days where I'm not car camping, you know, I'm not on a trip but I just need a change of scenery and I need to get out of the house. And like I said, you know, I know I'm very fortunate to be in a position where I can work from home on a regular basis. Um, I'm very grateful for that. Just like with anything, there are pros and cons and sometimes it just does get, um, I don't know the appropriate word for it, but when you're constantly in the same space all week long, you know, it, it can get um, a little monotonous and sometimes you do need to break up that monotony for creativity purposes, for, you know, mental health purposes, especially when the weather is kind of dreary. It does help to get out of that zone and kind of have a different... Um, kind of like a different perspective or a different geographical location. <laughs> Would I prefer going back to the office every single day? Absolutely not. <laughs> that would be a sad day for me. I am an introvert. So when our bosses said, hey, uh, your team can start working from home every day and you come in once a month, like internally, I was like, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna fold this back down and I'm gonna go back to my other work area in the back. It's much easier to fold it back down or to fold it down than it is to get it back up while you're in the car. But it's not difficult. Ooh. Sorry if my behind was all in y'all's face. And I know I could turn off the camera and edit it and, you know, do the little thing where I show you this is how it was and now this is how it is. But, you know, um, some of you are thinking about doing, you know, car camping and I just want to be able to show you, you know, in real time and actually you seeing what this kind of looks like when it's actually being done. So I'm gonna flip my camera around and go. Oh. All right, let me adjust this. I broke my last tripod, uh, so I have a new one here. 
and that is not level have a new one here and uh just getting used to that one it's actually much more sturdy it's about time for me to go back to work so i will leave the video here uh thank you very much for watching if you're new here because i know over the last few weeks we have a bunch of new subscribers coming in so i just want to say thank you for subscribing uh thank you for giving me a chance to entertain you and show you some of the <laughs> some of these uh, car camping experiences. I appreciate you coming along for the journey. Uh, for those of you that have been here for a while, I appreciate you sticking around. Hopefully we can continue to grow and go on journeys together and have some fun. Share your experiences with me because I love hearing about your experiences as well. And I will see you all on the next one. Be safe out there. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Have a great everything. I wish you all the best and I will see you soon. Oh, and one thing that I forgot to mention to you all, um, when I do things like this and I know I need to uh, make sure I have a good internet signal, I use an app called Open Signal and that allows me to ensure that uh, I have a good um, Wi-Fi signal or, or cell phone tower signal so I can use my Wi-Fi hotspot to work. And so with open signal, what you do is you download the app, plug in the address where you're going, and it will tell you based on your provider or your carrier how many bars you'll have, what the latency is. It will even tell you the average um, download and upload speed so again that is called open signal and no i am not sponsored it's just something that i feel like will help other people too so if you don't know that that exists there you go see you in the next one